As we go about our daily lives, we are constantly interacting with technologies that record what we are doing, thinking and feeling. Our smartphones, smartwatches, laptops and increasingly our connected appliances provide data that can help researchers to understand human behaviour. Up to now, researchers have used surveys, experiments and interviews. These can tell us a lot about people, but they occur at just one point in time and take people out of their normal contexts. People change and what they do depends on what is happening around them. The success of big tech companies like Google, Twitter and Facebook shows how big personal data can help to predict human behaviour. I am Simon Dennis and I am the CEO of Unforgettable Research Services. Our vision is to make big data accessible to the research community. At Unforgettable, when a researcher needs data, we send out a request to our users. Alternatively, if the researcher needs people from a specific population, we can help with recruitment. Unlike many services, our users are paid and retain ownership of their data. Their privacy is maintained because the researcher doesn't see the data, only the results of their analyses. Currently, we have more than 4,000 unforgettable users who can collect data from over 600 sources. These include their locations, app and phone usage, email, browsing histories, social media posts, step counts and sleep data. Many standard surveys on demographics, personality, beliefs and values, etc. are built into the system, and researchers can create their own. Right now, not many researchers are using big data. The central question for us is why? Before we started TramTrack, we thought researchers were primarily concerned that it would take too long and be too expensive. Through the interviews we have been conducting in the program, we have discovered that these are not the most immediate problems. The biggest issue researchers face is figuring out how to take huge data sets and extract variables that they can relate to their theory. Some people found the wide array of apps and services that are available difficult to navigate and needed help knowing what to choose. Others had been disappointed by the reliability of the technologies they had used. We need to support researchers through the entire process, starting by taking the time to understand the research questions they are trying to address so that we can provide advice on the right data sources for their problems. The reliability of the data collection process needs to be a major focus, and since starting the TRAC program, we have added several mechanisms to dramatically improve the robustness of our collection technologies. We have also created a new interface designed to look and feel familiar to researchers. The new interface makes it easy to use basic statistical methods and provides a suite of standard plotting tools. Under the hood, there are sophisticated machine learning models, causal analysis methods, and sentiment analysis tools. We believe that progress in the behavioural and medical sciences hinges on the use of big, dense, personal data. We are looking for introductions to individual researchers who would benefit from access to big data, and we would like to meet with deans, heads of school, and centre directors to discuss ways that we could provide access to our system for their research units. We would like to thank Andrew, Bonnie and the whole cohort for their support and assistance during the TramTrack program. We have learned a lot and wish everyone well in their translational journeys.